Hello, in this video I will show you how to save your fragment meshes uh, as Unity assets. In the previous video I, I show how you can save all fragments into a BX file format using third-party plugin. And even though it's free and it's from Unity Technologies, but again, you need to install something else. In this case, you can use uh, Refire Shadow Script itself. Uh, this feature was added in build 1.19, so uh, let's take a look. So if I will fragment this column now, here I have this uh, a bunch of fragments. As you can see, just one root and a lot of fragments. And the problem is, uh, again, I said it a lot of times, but I will say it one more time. If we will create prefab right now, uh, and then you will create prefab, the same prefab in your scene, you'll see that it has now, it has all those game objects, but its mesh is none, because prefab cannot store uh, mesh which is not saved anywhere. If, if it's not referencing to some assets, it will not be saved, because uh, right now all these fragments meshes stored inside scene, and when you create prefab, this is basically just a text file, uh, which uh, just have all the links to whatever it uses, and since there is no place with where this mesh was stored uh, except this scene, it just show you empty game object without mesh. So this is a problem, and to avoid this problem, you need to export your fragments into uh, Unity asset or FBX uh, file format. So uh, let me show you how to do this. So again, I will delete this. Just to show you from scratch. So I have my object and I fragment it. I take a look at these fragments. Okay, uh, now I can export them. And since I already have selected this object which I just fragmented and I have these fragments, I can select here into this export group of properties. I have here two options, last fragment and children. And by default it's set to last fragment, so I can hit here export last fragments here. And then you can save, let's say create some folder rf fragments and then give it some name and click here save so now we have his folder with this asset unity asset and as you can see it stores all these fragments meshes and now you I will select these fragments here you will see now when I will select this mesh it's referencing, uh, referencing to this asset so I can select every fragment and, and so now there is some place in our asset folder where all this mesh is stored now and so I'll delete this old prefab and now I can select this column root object and create prefab so now you can see that all this uh, prefab fragments they are referencing to this asset which I will just created and if I will create this column here in side scene, you can see that everything works fine because all the fragments again, they have some asset which they, which they use as storage for this mesh. So this is a quick way to save your fragment meshes, not in side scene, but uh, as uh, some unique asset. So it will be able, you will be able to use it for prefabs. And another way to uh, save all these meshes in case you don't need, in, in case you did uh, fragment some object in previous builds and you don't want to refragment it. So let's say you already uh, deleted your original object, you only have this uh, root with a bunch of fragments, and uh, I, I will delete. I can uh, actually let me let me delete all the prefabs. So again, here is my column, just one object. I don't have any prefabs here. I don't have any uh, saved unity asset here. Just again, just the object which I want to fragment and save all the fragments. I can fragment. Okay, now let's say you don't have this object anymore. You have only these fragments inside your scene. Uh, they are not referencing anywhere. This is the only place where they store this mesh. So you can apply shutter component to this root and then here in export group of properties set here children so it works for anything uh, everything um, uh, and it will check every children under this group under this root and uh, it will find all mesh filters and it will save all their meshes into asset so let's hit here export children 
and again you can give some name it's safe and again you will get all this uh, meshes stored in uh, as unity asset here so again I can click uh, select any fragments click on this mesh and you'll see that now it's referencing to this unity asset here so this is the way to uh, fragment your object and uh, save its mesh not only inside scene which is which is the only place where it stores all the fragments by default but also as a unity asset which uh, can be replaced maybe you will if you, in case let's say you will decide to change amount of fragments maybe I will select another let me refragment I'll save so I can fragment and hit export last fragments here save it as some unity asset here so here it is you can see a lot of fragments but then you see okay I don't want so much fragments here I can delete last change amount of fragments fragment again and then we can hit export last fragments again set the same asset here and it will overwrite it so now you'll see it has all the meshes which you just created so I guess that's it with uh, export into unity asset and thank you for watching